right guys, welcome back. On this episode of Foxed Up, we're going to be replacing the brake switch. I know it's uh, the bane of existence for some folks, but I want to show you uh, how to do it very quick and easy. You only need one tool, and, uh, and I want to show it on video to where you can actually see it, not just talk through the steps like Landon. So uh, stay tuned, let's get this done. All right, I'm gonna zoom way in here so you can see. You can see there's the switch right there. And I'm gonna slowly move this camera around, hopefully not mess up too bad here. And you see there is a pin uh, that essentially holds this switch on. Uh, typically there is a wiring you know, harness connector on the end of this switch. So you'll wanna remove that before you do anything else. So this pin, is all that's holding it on. So all you need is a pair of needle nose or something to get up there and grab it, a hook, anything, get up there and grab it and pull it out just like that. See, it's got a little hole in the pin so you could actually grab it with a hook if you needed. Now that you have that out, you just want to twist, twist the switch slide it over. You can see I can kind of turn it as I'm sliding it off the end. So now it's at an angle and then it just pops right off. That easy. Uh, so now what we're left with is a plastic washer. You can pull that off. Now you've got your uh, rod from your brake booster. It just has a hole in it. Just look at that from the side. So that's right here, and you see it, it'll swivel around. And then you've got your brake pedal here now, it's free swinging, not attached to anything. Now, this switch up here, this is for your cruise control. We'll cover this in another video. Uh, and then there's this piece here. Now, it looks like you know, this one's painted, uh, it looks like it's part of the you know, metal of the pedal, but it's actually plastic. And this will pop off. It looks like this. So, and that kind of just clips onto the pedal like so. And you can see how that's the, the same piece there. I don't want to take this off because I don't want to mess up the paint where this was painted with it actually on the pedal. So I'm just going to leave that like it is. But I wanted to mention that for a reason. Let's so move this camera back. So the only purpose this serves is to hit the button for the uh, cruise control. So if you're missing this piece, if you don't have cruise control, it's fine. You don't need this piece. Uh, but you'll see it actually, well, I'll show you on here. This uh, round part right here, plastic piece, it actually goes on to here on the brake pedal. So you'll see right here, my needle nose is pointing. That's, uh, that's part of it. So it actually acts kind of like a washer on this rod here. So if you don't have this piece, you'll want to use two of these little plastic washers instead of one uh, on this shaft right here. So now that that's out of the way, let's show how easy it is to put on a new brake switch. Um, so you only need one hand, although the other hand will come in handy to move the brake pedal around. You see I've got a finger down here on the bottom of the brake pedal. So I can just grab that and move the brake pedal around. So what that does is it'll help us line up this little piece uh, of the shaft here uh, with the hole there. Uh, so let me move this camera just so you can see this angle a little bit better. See how I've got this turned at an angle? I move the brake pedal forward. This thing will just actually twist and slide right on there. Just like that. Let me do that one more time. Let me turn the camera a little bit. So the twist. So basically I'm just spinning it down on there. So that's exactly the motion you want to take, except you want to have the brake switch on there. And that's why this is open on the bottom. So it'll allow you to get that twisting motion and slide it onto here. So let's do that again with the brake switch. 
Um, before you do anything, you want to put your plastic washer on there. It just gives you, kind of lines this up in the right place. Um, then, in your uh, push rod and the hole here that goes to the brake booster, there's another little plastic uh, bushing that goes in there. Looks just like that. Now it goes in kind of from the, I guess from the left or from the top when this is turned. You just want to slide it right in there just like that. So now that's kind of in there on the top. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there it is. It's just resting right on top right there and right into the hole. Now what we're going to do is slide our brake switch right, right on to the end of this piston here, or the push rod or whatever you want to call it. Slide it right onto the end so the hole lines up with this hole. Just like that. Now it's just kind of sitting there in place. So now I'm going to move the brake pedal with my other hand and with this hand I'm going to Kind of hold this in place, and then when the brake pedal gets lined up, I'm gonna twist and I'm gonna pop it on there. Have to come underneath just to get it lined up good there. And then it's gonna push right on. There you go, just like that. Uh, now you can see. This side, see the hole right there, and that's where that pin is going to go. And this pin is, uh, you know, it's kind of odd looking, you can't find these anywhere, uh, but it's made so that it will not come out unless you pull it out. There's no way you can work loose or slide out, because uh, if that were to come out um, and this slip off here, you'd have no brakes. So, let's just push that in, it goes in pretty easy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, you can get your brake light switch at ultrafox.com. There's the brake light switch. We've got clutch pedal bushings, your pedal pads, the brake switch hardware, which we just looked at. Uh, we've got cruise control switches. Here's another uh, neutral safety switch for your clutch. So I've got a, yet another video coming out soon on this switch right here. So uh, that's it, check out ultrafox.com and thanks for watching. See ya.